Hello. Welcome to this course on postmodernism. I'm Masood Raja, and in this lecture, I'll briefly discuss another postmodernist concept, pastiche. Now, traditionally, pastiche was considered not something good to do because it imitated someone else's art, and it was in literature probably considered a kind of plagiarism. But now, with postmodernism, pastiche itself has become an acceptable technique. And most of the times, when the writers do that, what they do is they use someone else's work, incorporate it in their own novel or a short story, and then play with that. It's never really a parody. It's done as, as an homage, but it can be funny, and it can sometimes be a tongue-in-cheek criticism of the earlier work. But most of the times, it's not parodying the earlier work. Now, some examples of pastiche uh, could very well be, uh, let's say, um, J.M. Quetzia's novel, Faux. Right, So the novel Faux is a playful rendering of Daniel Defoe, right, the writer, and it tells the story of Friday from Friday's point of view. But in order to get the story, the story of um, the main character of the novel has to be incorporated in it. Some other examples of it could be when, let's say, Krista Wolf writes uh, Cassandra. Now, Cassandra is a retelling of Fall of Troy, right? But it's from the point of view of a woman, from the point of view of Cassandra. There are quite a few other examples as well. Sometimes pastiche is incorporating the elements of another novel or its writing style. For example, if you have read Salman Rushdie's Midnight's Children, stylistically speaking, it's a pastiche of Tristram Shandy, right? But also Gunter Grass's Tin Drum because the opening scene and the language and the culture uh, kind of replicates that. And there is an acknowledgement of it. There, are, there can also be like openly declared pastiches in literature where it's just a rewriting of another story, either from the point of view of a minor character or a retelling of the same story. But the main thing to keep in mind is that it's done tongue in cheek. It can be humorous, but it's not necessarily a parody. It is a reworking of an original work with the knowledge that the original work is being reworked on. And that is an acceptable trope in postmodernist art, but also in postmodernist literary studies. So that's my brief note on pastiche. I will also upload some written resources on its definition and various characteristics. But anytime you see something like that in a postmodernist novel, now you should be able to recognize the pastiche involved in it. Thank you so much, and I'll be back with more.